Hi, and welcome to this PowerShell quick tip video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the commandlet test dash net connection. And this is going to be to perform something similar to an end map. So we're going to be scanning ports to see if they're open. So we're going to be scanning a specific IP address and we're going to be giving it a port to scan to see if it's open and give us an output if it's open. And we can actually scan multiple ports. Now, this is a little bit slower than Nmap. If you were to use Nmap, um, Nmap would still be my tool of choice if we are scanning ports. But if this is something that you need to do and you're limited to a strictly PowerShell use and you're not allowed to use Nmap and you maybe want to generate reports on different ports that are open on your server, so maybe you want to do a little bit more than what Nmap can actually provide to you in terms of reporting capabilities, then the test net connection is a great tool to use. So let's go ahead and let's actually get started and see how this actually works. So let me just make uh, my code screen a little bit bigger here. And there you go, that should be a bit better for you guys. All right, so let's just go ahead and let's just test out a simple uh, port here. So let's do test dash net connection and then we're going to put computer name here we're going to put the ip address of my server that i have here you can also put local host to scan your own computer to see if those ports are open as well and we're going to specify a port and we're going to specify port because i know it's actually open here we're going to specify port 3389 and let's go ahead and let's run this here. So as you're going to see at the bottom here, we are actually going to see our output. So it is done with Visual Studio Code. Sometimes you will see that this kind of gets stuck here. If you just hit enter, we'll see that it uh, kind of goes through. So here we have it. We have the remote address that we scanned for and the remote port that we scanned for on the Wi-Fi network. And we can see that it actually succeeded. So the port is actually open. Now, if I scan a port that's actually closed here, if we go ahead and go on port 80, and we're just going to go ahead and perform the scan here. Now, this is going to take a little bit of time because I already know that the port's closed. We just want to see what the output is here. So I'm just going to wait till this finishes. Sometimes if the port is closed, it can sometimes take um, a little bit longer because it has to perform another test there. So there it is. So here we have our remote address and then the port is 80 again on the Wi-Fi network. Now we get the TCP test succeeded is false. So this actually did not reply on port 80. So port 80 is not open um, or active. Uh, the ping succeeded though is true. So if the TCP test, so if the port, if the test on the port fails, it'll still try to actually ping that machine to make sure that the ping succeeds. So that's why it takes a little bit longer on the failures. So we can see that the ping works, um, but the actual port itself, we did not get any reply on. So that is actually perfect. So what we can actually do as well is with this commandlet, there's a fancy little parameter that's quite useful if you don't know the port. So if we just do computer name again, we'll just put the same computer in here. There is actually a common ECP port here. And this will actually autocomplete and it'll have three of the ports. So it'll have the HTTP, which is port 80, of course. RDP, which is port 3389, uh, the SMB port, which that skips my mind right now. I want to say it's 135, but I'm not 100% sure. And it's very easy. If you're not sure, you can actually run these and they'll actually give it to you back. Um, and then WinRM. So if we actually go ahead and let's just try the SMB here. And let's hit run. And then we'll just make this bottom part a little bit bigger. And we're just going to wait for our reply here. I believe on this computer it will actually be uh, closed. I don't think the SMB port is open, uh, but I'm actually not 100% sure. I can't remember how I have this exact server in the testing environment configured here. 
but we're about to find out. Uh, so it is taking a little bit of time. Uh, um, okay, so the SMB did succeed here, and that tests port 445. Um, so that is all good there. So it did uh, succeed. So that is perfectly fine. So again, like I said, with Visual Studio Code, sometimes you'll see that it's actually stuck, and all you have to do is hit enter, and then it kind of goes away. But we do actually have our output here. We can see that it is actually successful. So what we can actually do now is we can actually write a script to actually give us basically a report at the end to see what ports are actually active. So what we can do is we can create a variable called ports and we're gonna make this as an array of ports that we actually wanna test. So let's put port 80, let's put port 445 because we know it's active. Let's put port 3389. And then let's put one more port 5985. So once we actually have these here, we're just going to do a for each. And we're going to do a for each port in ports. And then an open and closing curly bracket. And then all we need to do is do a test net connection computer name. We're going to want to put the IP address that we want to test all these ports against. Now, of course, you can have another loop around this loop with a list of IPs that it goes through. So it'll test all the different IPs of your server that you want to actually inspect these ports on. And we're going to specify the port. And then what we're actually going to want to do is we're going to want to assign this to a variable. So what I like to call this is I like to call it port test equals that test net connection and then all we're going to have is if port test dot tcp i just want to make sure that i spell this correctly here so it's tcp just make sure i like matching the case sensitivity even though it is not important so we're going to want to do if tcp test succeeded so if that is equal to true we don't have to say dash eq true this will just say if true then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a write output and we're just going to do port colon and we're going to put the port number here so we're just going to put a variable wrapper and then our port variable is open and then all we want to do is now we can just go ahead Let's get rid of these two at the bottom because we don't need that anymore. Let's go ahead and let's run this here. So it's going to test all the different ports that we have here in this list. So we know that port 80 is actually closed. All of these next three we should actually get as open here. So let's just go ahead and let's test it out. And you can even add an extra conditional statement here and say that the port's closed if it's actually failed. Um, so there's a lot of different things that you can actually do um, with this by just adding some extra conditional testing here. So we can see that port 445 is open, port 3389 is open, and we can also see that port 5985 is open. So we get really, really nice outputs here. And like I said, if we did else, open and close curly brackets, we can actually just copy paste this here and we can actually just say is closed. Uh, so now if we actually run this, we're going to see now, of course, you can see instead of write output, you can actually store the result into an array and then output that into a nice HTML formatted email or something. Um, there's a lot that you can actually do with this. You can run this test. Uh, daily or hourly against your servers to make sure that there's no ports that are magically being opened um, because you don't definitely do not want that. So here we can see port 80 is closed and now it's running through all the other ports which are going to say that they're open because nothing has actually changed. So let's go ahead and let's actually close one of these ports on that server here and then we're going to rerun the test. So let's say it's the 5985 is open. Now let's say we actually don't want that to be open. Uh, let's go on to our server here. Now, thankfully, I already know which one is the 5985 and that is the WRM 
So let's go ahead and let's just disable these firewall rules because we don't want it actually open here. And then we're going to go ahead. We're just going to minimize that. And we're going to actually rerun these tests. And we're going to see if it actually is closed. So it's just running these tests once again. It just takes a little bit of time. This is why if you do have the ability to use Nmap to do your port scanning, if you're trying to do just a live test, Nmap is definitely much, much quicker. Um, but if you do want reporting on it, the PowerShell option is definitely pretty awesome in terms of being able to really customize what you get back. So here we can actually see port, port, uh, port 445 is open. That's fine. 3389 is open. Port 80 is still closed. And then we're going to notice that now the port 5985 will now be closed here. We should see that in just a few seconds here. And there it is, port 5985 is closed. So we actually did manage to close it. I'm just gonna go ahead and re-enable this because I do want this turned on on the server here. But that is how you can actually work the test-net connection very nicely um, to scan ports on a computer or on a list of computers, uh, even on your local host as well. Um, you can run these tests. You can add a bunch more ports. You can use the common ports if you would like as well. Just make sure if you are scanning ports that you are given permission to scan ports as this is usually if you do have detection tools on your network, if you're trying to do this at work, they might kind of detect that you're trying to sniff out open ports or not. So just make sure you do get permission to actually do this. Don't run this against production systems that don't belong to you as well. Um, but this is a very, very good tool to just practice and add that verification, especially if you are in a workplace that you want to just make sure that all the ports of your servers remain secure and only the ports that should be open remain open and the ports that should be closed remain closed. This is a great way to test that out. If you guys have any other command lists that you guys would like me to look at or have any questions on this video, please let me know in the comment section down below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Also hit that notification bell to be notified when that next video comes out. And I will see you guys on the next video.